Hey everyone, we are continuing with best of 2020 and today we're gonna focus on what your favorites were. So I have, as usual, everything broken down into categories, a few new categories to break it down a little more specifically. We have beauty, then we have skin and hair care, then we have clothing, then we have accessories, and then we have lifestyle. I will have a video solely on the Amazon top favorites from 2020 because they are all over the place and so hard to categorize. You may see some carryover from here to there and vice versa. I hope you'll watch both of them. Of course, I also hope you are subscribed. Okay, lots to talk about. Let's jump in. Let's start with beauty. So I'm wearing everything that I am mentioning here. Number one standout bestseller for 2020 was this, the L'Oreal Age Radiant Serum Foundation. I am kind of wearing both of these. I'm wearing shade 10 and shade 15 which is ivory and rose ivory, but normally I'm shade rose ivory. I've just been spending a lot of time inside and been very far away from my fake tan. I have gone on and on and on about this. If you have any kind of skin, really, it just works with every skin, young skin, old skin, mature skin, sensitive skin, dry skin, oily skin. It's beautiful. It's, it has an amazing shade range. It's affordable. I always link, by the way, in the description box to wherever I can find it from one, the most reputable retailer and two, the most affordable option. And if you're clicking on this link nine times out of 10, that's going to be Walmart for this. All right, moving on is another L'Oreal product that I absolutely adore and apparently so do you. It is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Bronzer and the light is really reflective. I have it in the shade 01 and I've loved it so much that my lid fell apart. I've heard from a lot of you that your lids have fallen off. There it is. It's pretty light. It has a sheen to it. This is not a matte bronzer, but there's nothing glittery about it. It's just a beautiful satin finish. If you are looking for a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow, or is it Sculpt and Glow, where it has the bronzer on one side and the highlighter on the other, this is absolutely a dupe for the bronzer. This does come in three shades, um, light, medium, and deep, I think, and I have it in the shade light. I also have it in medium for summer. Number three, very budget friendly, mentioned this in my personal best of beauty everyday faves, is the Smoky Eye Palette from Profusion Cosmetics. It is very well loved indeed by all of us. I am currently wearing pretty much every shade except the purple and the black. There's a lot, it doesn't look like much, but there's a lot going on here. And then the last beauty favorite of yours from 2020 is from Wander Beauty, and it is the Wanderlust Powder Foundation. Look at that. I mean, that is, that is very, very well loved. I'm wearing it in the shade Fair Light. For some reason, Nordstrom carries all the shades, but not Fair Light. So that will be linked probably down to Sephora. Um, I haven't repurchased this yet. I do have it in the shade medium for summertime, eagerly anticipating that. Um, I have two other powder foundations, well, really three that I'm kind of working through and I'm trying to be a little more responsible and work through my backups before I start adding more. So I'm currently rotating through the Too Faced powder foundation, the Estee Lauder powder foundation, the double wear version, and IT Cosmetics, I think it's the Celebration powder foundation. So gonna use all those up, love all of them, but your favorite of those was this. This is also the time where I rectify things I left out from other favorites. So in the best of beauty 2020, my personal favorites, I forgot to include a blush. And it would have to be, hands down, the Buxom Wanderlust blushes, specifically the shade I'm wearing today, which is Seychelles. These are so user-friendly. These are so good. They're great for mature skin where you want to add color and you want to have, you don't want the dull flatness of a matte blush, but you want, you want some life in your skin and in your cheeks. There's a nice little shade range. So if you want something brighter, they have it. But if you want something absolutely neutral and easy, my two favorite shades are Seychelles and Dolly. And then I have to mention, this is not part of the favorites, but this came in PR and I've been wearing it almost every day. It's also from Buxom. It's part of their new White Russian collection. And this is the White Russian Glow Highlighter. It looks very similar actually to the blush in the pan. This is the highlighter, this is the blush. It's just, it's this beautiful pinky, almost lilac kind of wet look. I love it. I've kind of piled it on. You can make it a lot more subtle. That's for another video. This will probably be talked about again in January favorites, but I had to mention it. 
All right, moving on to skincare and hair care. Number one of all your viewer favorites for skincare and hair care was something for the guys. Well, it's technically for the guys, but we ladies can use it too. It is the Philips One Blade. I have the um, safety guard on top of it. I actually pulled this out of Michael's drawer on his side of the bathroom. He says it's great. It's his favorite because it comes with attachments that you can use to trim your beard so it doesn't get too big and bushy. My boys use it just to shave, you know, to be clean shaven. I have been told by several acquaintances they like to use this on themselves to trim the bikini area. It has a myriad of uses for both men and women and it is amazing. It's linked below. Next in the viewer favorites was this guy from Tula and I always like to demonstrate this on camera. This is the Tula Glow and Get It Eye Balm, the original version. There is a, there are two other versions. They're fine, but this one I agree is the standout. And it looks like basically like a deodorant. It is not, it doesn't have really an odor. All it does, you can use it before you put on your makeup, You can, but I like to use it during the day when my eyes are feeling a little tired, especially right now during allergy season. My eyes are always tired and a little dry. You just swipe it on right on top. I'm only gonna do it on one eye. Not sure if you're gonna be able to see it right away on the camera, but I feel a lot better. This eye feels cooler, the skin feels less tight, and it definitely, I feel, lifts and brightens. This is great to have in your desk if you go to work. Great little pick-me-up around three o'clock. This thing is fabulous and will become indispensable once the weather starts heating up, which in my world could be next week. I do want to remind you while it's carried in some places I love, like Nordstrom and Ulta, if you're looking to save 15%, I do have a discount code. It's not an affiliate code, but it'll save you 15% if you order it from Tula directly. And that info is down in the description box. Okay, next for hair care actually is this bad boy. I have been reaching for this a lot myself. It's the Bio Ionic 10 times, what's the whole name of this thing? Speed Hair Dryer. And it does everything it says. It's super, super lightweight. I think it's a pound. I love this extra long nozzle, by the way, because I like to style my hair with the round brush and it gives you a nice grip if you hold it like this. Um, it dries your hair super, super fast and gets really hot. I do not even put it on high. Most I set it on is medium. It'll get my whole head dry in 10 minutes with round brushing and I think that's pretty fast. And then to round out skincare and hair care, two of your favorites were from the same retailer, Colleen Rothschild. And I would have to agree with you. The first is the Colleen Rothschild Micro Mineral Soothing Toner. Why I love this, my skin can be reactive, it can be sensitive, and when I apply this after I've washed and dried my face, other products don't seem to give me the adverse results that sometimes they do like when I use Retin-A or Tretinoin. I started using this religiously the same time I started using tretinoin in my nighttime skincare routine and I never had the dryness, the flakiness, the redness that is sometimes associated with frequent use of tretinoin or retin-A. And I definitely think this had something to do with it. I don't use it in this bottle anymore because my medicine cabinet does not come with adjustable shelves and this doesn't fit in it. We are rectifying that later this month though, I think, and getting some new, we're doing some stuff in the bathroom. So make sure you're watching. I'll probably do a video on that. I just decanted into these airless pumps that I have picked up on Amazon and then I actually got a new label maker and I just put soothing toner on here. Although honestly, how you could think it's anything but this since it's bright pink basically. I have no, I, I mean, what else could it be? But the micro mineral soothing toner and then to round it out is this guy. <sighs> I love this. This is the Colin Rothschild Quench and Shine Restorative Mask. I don't even know what number tub this is. I'm already pretty well through it. I just want to take a moment to smell it. It smells so good. She also recently, this year, launched the shampoo and just launched a styling cream that goes along with it. I started with the Quench and Shine mask out of her hair care line, and I've slowly started adding the other products in the line as well, but this is definitely the standout product, and I love hearing back from so many of you who have recently purchased some of her hair care products and to let me know how great your hair is turning out, how pleased you are, how much you love the scent. I love getting that kind of feedback. Let's move on to clothing. I will insert some pictures, um, but first we gotta start with this guy, actually, this underneath. So I don't know if this is actually still in stock, but it was so overwhelmingly well-loved that I have to include it. It was the Socialite uh, Henley, it's a long sleeve Henley top. 
I picked mine up in the Nordstrom anniversary sale. I got it in this kind of pinkish shade and a light green. They're so soft, they're so lovely, and they're so always sold out in so many of the shades and colors. So I am also going to link to a close second. It's from Amazon and it's not quite the same softness, but it's it's super close and the price point is excellent. So if we can't find this one, check out the one from Amazon. And then number two, and probably the reason why my lighting is looking a little wonky is because I'm wearing white and it's reflecting back and to the camera is this. This is the Gibson Notch Color Blazer. This is number two in your favorites from clothing. I love mine. I ordered a second one in the anniversary sale in black. They have them in a variety of colors. They still don't have one in navy. They have one in a bright blue and like a bright pink. I have my eye on that bright pink, but I would love to see them also release one in navy. They have one in gray. Anyway, I can go on and on. They're frequently on sale. I do have a discount code with Gibson. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, if you order it directly from gibsonlook.com, my discount code should work. I'll put that info down in the description box. But I got this in a petite small. Both of the ones I own are in a petite small. The sleeves are rather fitted. In hindsight, I think I probably would have just either ordered the regular small so I could make sure I can get, you know, something a little thicker underneath or maybe the extra small. But I just wanted the blazer a little bit fitted. I have no intention of actually buttoning, buttoning it, so this works. But if I order a third one, I'm probably going to size up to just the regular small or my true size in Gibson is an extra small, not to petite. Okay, all over the place there, but number three of your viewer favorites was the Time and True Linen Blend Pants. Now this is the time of year when people are thinking about spring break normally, and so I have seen Walmart start carrying um, from year to year. They will put out favorites from last year, so I'm hoping these linen blend pants are still available. If they are not, I'm gonna keep my eye out. I will more than likely shout out about it over on Instagram. So if you're not following me there, definitely follow me, particularly in stories is when I can just get information to you really quickly. But if I do find out that they are back in stock, I will, if they're not now, I will definitely let you know in an upcoming favorites video as well. And then number four, there are kind of two that were tied, which was funny because they were basically the same thing. Camo jackets or car, um, utility jackets, both in the camo print, one from Caslon and one from Walmart. I will link them both. Depending on your size, you may be able to get lucky enough to find what you're looking for. I have to say of the two, the Caslon jacket is the one that has haunted me. I loved it during the anniversary sale. I didn't buy it. I kept meaning to buy it. I have so many utility jackets. I just, it was hard for me to justify. My front hall closet is full of jackets. I live in South Texas. It is currently 55 degrees in January. It's really hard for me to justify. No, it is completely, I cannot justify the amount of jackets I have sitting in my closet that rarely get used. But this camo jacket was some, I'm still regretting that it is not available. If it comes back out, probably gonna buy it again next fall. But I have to say my all time favorite of the two, I know you guys love both of them. That Walmart utility jacket was perfect. The way the pockets were placed, the sizing, the material, the length. It's my go-to spring and fall jacket and I'll keep wearing it even if I can't link to it because I love it that much. I have it in gray. I have it in um, the olive green. I may have it in a third as well. I can't remember, but they are fabulous. And then your last favorite from 2020 was one of my regrets from the anniversary sale. The regret being my order, the only thing that got canceled out of my order was this shirt. It's the cozy knit top from One State. Um, you should be looking at a picture of it right now. I actually went ahead and got the embellished version. You saw me wearing it in the plum. A few of you I know picked it up also in the black and sent me pictures and it looked beautiful on all of you. So there are options available, but I so wanted that camel color faux drape and I have found some dupes, but that exact one is still sold out. If that comes back in stock, it's still sitting on my wish list. I will definitely let y'all know. Now moving on to accessories, let's go through this pretty quickly. Number one, kind of wearing it right now. No, I'm wearing it right now. It's the Soma Endless Wireless Bralette. This bralette is basically the hero of 2020. If I even put on a bra for the first half of the year, it was this one. And honestly, it's been pretty hard for me to put on a normal bra that you know has a clasp and all that. I will say, there's only really two bras I've worn all year. This one, and then it's sister, the Endless Wireless Bra. 
that has a clasp. That's it. And apparently y'all feel very similarly. I love it. Next of your favorites and accessories was this guy. I'm really excited and kind of surprised that a luxury handbag was such a purchased item, especially in 2020, but there you go. Um, I absolutely love it. It's hard for me to wear anything but this. I do have my eye on a couple YSL bags, but honestly, I just don't see myself purchasing anything in that price point this year. We are trying to do some bathroom renovations and other big projects in the house and buying all new family room furniture. So luxury designer bags are probably gonna take a back seat to that. But many of you enjoyed this guy as much as I have. This is not the strap that comes with it, by the way. A more budget-friendly item, it's not budget-friendly, but it's not $2,000, is uh, this guy. This was number three in your favorites, and this is the MZ Wallace uh, Max 2 Tote. This is the best travel bag I have ever owned. It is worth every penny I've gotten. My money's worth out of all of the times I've used this. Um, I have a whole video on like what's in my travel bag. I will link to that so you can hear me wax on and on about it. It weighs next to nothing, has a million pockets, has a luggage sleeve, has crossbody strap. It's fabulous. And if you don't like it in black, it comes in other colors as well. Number four in viewer favorites for accessories was this, and I have to agree with you, it is the resin um, Apple Watch Band. I have it in flower pink. It comes in a bunch of colors. It's a tortoiseshell type concept. You can take links out or add them as you need to. It comes with all the little pieces that you need. It's super lightweight. I get a perfect fit with this. And this is the band I wear 24, well not 24 seven, but when I have my watch on, even when I'm exercising, showering, etc., I love it. And this pink just goes year round for me. I haven't had any desire to change it out. Last for accessories, my favorite shoe as well for 2020 is this guy. This is the Dr. Scholl slip on sneaker in the animal print. I'm a big fan of this shoe. I have walked many, 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 many miles in this shoe. This shoe has gone to many states. And honestly, if I'm in a hurry or don't want to think about what shoe to put on, this seems to go with everything. Let's get through a lifestyle. Number one is something I don't even own, but I did a video back in March on how to look good in a Zoom call and my suggested tripod and remote is not a practically number one seller for all of 2020. You can get it at Walmart. I believe it's I believe it's under twenty dollars. It is a great kit. I've seen it. I just I already have a ton of tripods. I just did not need another one. And I don't think Zoom is going away. So if you haven't invested in some kind of ring light tripod with a remote for your Zoom or video calls, I highly recommend you check this one out. Number two for lifestyle and viewer favorites was the Bliss Plush Throw. It's been a favorite every year that I've recommended it. This year or last year is no exception. This was the year I personally got excited about their new oversized option. I don't know if that one is still available. I'll link it if it is, but just the regular size is fabulous. And full price is under $40. It regularly goes on sale for under 30. So you just, this is one of those things if you wanna have a gift closet, Get a bunch of these in neutral colors and just have them ready to go. All right, number three, since a lot of us are spending a lot of time at home, apparently we were all doing a little redecorating and that included buying some new rugs. And number three was my family room rug from Ruggable. It is the Hindisi print. I love it. It's a like a faded oriental type traditional pattern. I'm pretty, I'm very tempted to buy another one in a smaller size for my foyer. I do have a Ruggable currently in my foyer. It's more of a, geometric print and it's a little, it just doesn't go with everything else that's going on in there. I don't know if you know this, but once you have a ruggable with the mat and then the removable rug, you can swap out the rug. You don't have to keep buying the whole thing. So I might just buy that Hendizi print um, in the smaller size that I have for the foyer. All right, number four, I finally took it off my nightstand to show it to you in person. It is this three-in-one charging stand. You put your watch here, you rest your phone or tablet here and you rest your headphones here. I have a phone and tablet, so I rest my phone here and then the, I just have my tablet sitting on my nightstand because usually I'm reading it as I'm falling asleep and more nights than not, I fall asleep in the bed with my iPad, like a little teddy bear. But this comes in a variety of colors. I have it in the aluminum. It's super lightweight, it's fabulous. This angle allows you to rest your watch on it so it works like a like an alarm clock as well. You could see it like a nightstand 
clock and this makes a great gift for yourself or for someone you love. And then lastly, definitely the standout for 2020 and it is on my list to order some new ones in this white and some pink for Valentine's Day, these faux tulips. Faux flowers in general were huge, but these tulips, hands down, were the standouts. I have no idea where this vase is from. Like this, it's older than my YouTube channel, I don't know. But this is what I keep in my powder room, in my guest bath downstairs. It looks like these are beautiful fresh flowers for guests, not that I have any, but if they ever came over, they would be greeted with these. So that's it for your favorites from 2020. I have to say y'all have some very good taste. I agree with all of your picks. I like them all as well. I hope you've been enjoying my look back at 2020. All good things, that's all we're gonna talk about. And please make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss any more of the fun. Thanks so much for watching today, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.